No, I think this. I think the uh, you know the message really from Dennis is uh, when we got to you know the last four games, it was to go four and zero, and we've started with that. But again, uh, you know we got a big challenge. Uh, when when you got to the self scout again, you know you had some time to reflect on things that you were doing good, things that you weren't. But uh, I guess the deep dive will really happen uh, once the off season starts. Uh, but again, you know. Uh, we've had some games where we haven't done very well in third down or getting into our, our you know, manageable situations. So again, that, that starts with me and evaluating myself first. And then as the coach is evaluating what we're doing and uh, make sure we're doing the right things and then get into whether it's red zone or turnovers and things like that, run game, pass game. Did you take a different approach to this opening drive or you just kind of converted the third downs to make it a 15 play? <laughs> well, I think that when you really look at it, yeah, I think that, you know, we converted third downs. We're able to sustain the drives. Obviously, we've been wanting to do that. But I guess, uh, you know, the mindset, again, was, uh, you know, one of the focuses was time of possession and, and trying to, uh, you know, sustain some drives. And, uh, again, we got into a few of those third downs that were third and manageable situations. So I think that, uh, you know, that's always the goal. But it was uh, our players executed at a high level. Pete, how, how would you critique yourself? You mentioned you talked to some people as if you were doing it yourself, kind of what would, what would the critique be? Again, I really haven't, um, you know, started to think about that, but I think that, uh, again, we'll look at, you know, everything and just kind of uh, evaluate, again, starting with, you know, starting with the play call and is there different things that I would have liked to have done? Um, and then, you know, did, were we putting our players in the right position? So things like that. Um, what have y'all been able to just gain from watching Trevor play the last uh, last handful of weeks? Um, you know, what, what have you thought of his play? What, what... I think as the um, the more he's played, the, the more he's shown us that you know he belongs out there, and uh, obviously the, the, the future's bright for him. We'll see what uh, uh, unfolds this week as far as how that all plays out. We still have a couple of days to uh, you know get that, see where everybody's at. But again, he's uh, the more opportunities he's had. Uh, you know, we feel like he's taken advantage of those opportunities and showed us that he's, uh, you know, playing at a high level. Would he be ready to start at left tackle if he needed him there? I think we've, uh, again, you know, still have a few days left in the week to see where we're at, but he's a guy that's uh, played well, and yes, we'd be comfortable with that. You guys have uh, you've tried to use a couple guys, move them to tight end or, or switch guys and try guys at different positions. What, what has Juwan done that, that it has made that kind of a – almost seemed like a natural switch. Well, he's really, the, the time, the energy, the effort that he's put into that, and when he embraced the idea of make, making that move, um, you know, he, he was all in, and, uh, you know, he, he got bigger, stronger, and uh, he worked, you know, a ton with Dan Roshar in the off season, you know, as much as he could be in the building, and uh, really how he's grown. And uh, but I think, first of all, it's him accepting that, that role and being excited about it. And again, you know, we talk about his passing game quite often, but he's done a good job in the run game for us as well. That's something that's grown and will continue to grow.